In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 18, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Toronto Blue Jays vs. Houston Astros The heavyweight American League series between the Toronto Blue Jays and Houston Astros continues on Tuesday night. Toronto comes into this one at 10-7 while Houston is currently 8-9. The Blue Jays are 4-1 in their last 5 Tuesday games and 4-11 in their last 15 versus the American League West. Toronto is 36-16 in their last 52 versus a right-handed starter. Meanwhile, the Astros are 36-15 in their last 51 Tuesday games and 64-29 in their last 93 at home. Houston is 43-20 in their last 63 overall. Just like Monday night, the oddsmakers see Tuesday's American League matchup as just about a coin flip in terms of betting odds. However, I think the Astros have the edge here at home and that's who I'll roll with in this one. Bassett has rebounded with a couple of quality starts over for his last two outings, but the right-hander still enters with a 7.63 earned run average and 1.63 WHIP this year. Over his last two starts, he's issued eight walks. That can't happen when facing a team of Houston's caliber. They'll make you pay. Finally, Houston has seen a couple of their star players in Jordan Alvarez and Alex Bregman tee off on Bassett. Bregman is 7-19 with a home run and two doubles while Alvarez is 4-10 with three long balls. Urquidy has looked pretty good through three starts so far. In his last pair, combined he's got 11.1 innings with just one earned on nine hits and four walks. He should be able to post a solid outing here as well. In Monday's opener, Houston got at least one hit from eight different batters and three RBI apiece from Corey Jolks and Jake Mayers. If Urquidy can keep it going in the start, the Astros' offense should be able to put the team in a winning position. So the Houston Astros' money line is our full game side pick. These rosters are littered with all-star level talent and I think the stars will be on display here. While I touched on some success that the Astros have had against Bassett, the Blue Jays have seen Urquidy well too. The current roster is slashing .306, .348, and .565 over 62 at bats, racking up five home runs and a double. Furthermore, neither bullpen has been overwhelmingly reliable to start the season. Toronto comes in with respectable numbers at 9th and earned run average and 10th in WHIP while Houston is just 17th and 18th in those respective categories. This game, in my opinion, has all the makings of of a high-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Colorado Rockies The Pittsburgh Pirates seem to enjoy their first trip to Denver, beating the Colorado Rockies 14-3 in Game 1 of this series. It was pretty much decided after the third inning, and shortstop Alan Trejo got to pitch for the Rockies. Game 2 will hopefully be more competitive, with Pittsburgh looking to take the series. The Pirates are 66-143 in their last 209 road games and 7-2 in their last 9 Tuesday games. The Rockies are 4-12 in their last 16 home games games and 9-24 in their last 33 overall. The under is 3-1-1 in Pirates' last 5 overall. The over is 5-2 in Rockies' last 7 home games. The Pirates are 2-5 in the last 7 meetings in Colorado and 3-7 in the last 10 meetings. Neither starting pitcher has been impressive this season and pitching in Denver probably won't help that. Both bullpens have been dependable for their respective teams through the first few weeks of the season. So, when it comes to picking this game it comes down to which offense can be trusted more. Pittsburgh Pittsburgh's has been better this year, and they have one of the league's best hitters this month, Brian Reynolds. They're also the team that put up 14 runs last night rather than three. I'm not thrilled to get behind Vince Velasquez, but the Rockies can't score runs these days, and backing Urena is a no-go for me. Jose Urena has had control issues his entire career, and when he gets hit, he gets hit hard. The Pirates have to like their chances in this contest, especially with the Rockies' bats ice cold. So the Pittsburgh Pirates' money line is our
our full game side pick. Jose Urena's home may be Coors Field, but his career numbers are awful there, with an earned run average near 6.5. Vince Velasquez has started five games in Coors Field and has a 5.18 earned run average there. Both pitchers have had awful starts to their 2023 season, although Velasquez's last start was strong. One of these guys, if not both, will probably get hit hard in this game. Of course, it's Coors Field, so runs add up quickly if pitchers aren't careful. These run totals in Colorado just look silly sometimes. On Monday, though, Pitt Pittsburgh cruised to a 14-3 win. More significantly, this was the sixth straight loss for the Rockies. Colorado has not scored much of late, and they will need to get going to justify playing this run line. Enter Vince Velasquez. Velasquez does not miss many bats, and he does not have the kind of stuff that typically plays effectively at Coors Field. Although he bounced back with a solid outing last week against the Cardinals, that scoreless effort only lowered his earned run average to 5.4. He's probably going to help the Rockies' bats come back to life. Likewise, Jose Urena is not likely to be effective either. With an earned run average of 9.9, .9, the Pirates will once again be licking their chops at the plate. I know the run total is high, but with two bad starters going, and with both bullpens already taxed from Monday's game, this should be a typical Colorado game with lots of scoring. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Braves vs. San Diego Padres The San Diego Padres will host the Atlanta Braves at Petco Park on Tuesday for the second game of a three-game series. Blake Snell will take the mound for San Diego against Spencer Strider for the Braves in a matchup between two star-studded National League contenders. The Braves are 57-14 in their last 71 versus a team with a losing record. Atlanta is 40-11 in their last 51 in Game 2 of a series and 50-22 in their last 72 overall. Meanwhile, the Padres Padres are 7-3 in their last 10 Tuesday games and the under is 8-3-1 in their last 12 Tuesday games. With an 8-1 road record entering Monday, playing on the West Coast shouldn't have too much of a negative impact on Atlanta. Spencer Strider was dominant in his first road start this season, throwing six innings of three-hit, shutout baseball with nine strikeouts at Washington. Strider is 6-4 on the road in his career and 8-3 in night games. Blake Snell has only faced Atlanta twice in his career, but he is 0-1 with a 4.5 earned run average. Snell is just 7-9 in his career against National League East teams. The advantage on the mound definitely goes to the Braves in Tuesday's game. Offensively, it's not even close right now. Atlanta has been red hot and is loaded with production up and down its lineup. The Braves are averaging almost seven runs per game during their six-game winning streak, while San Diego has failed to top three runs in four of its last five entering Monday. It's been a slow start out of the gate for the Padres, and I can't see them correcting that against Atlanta's best pitcher. So the Atlanta Braves' money line is our full game side pick. You think there will be some regression coming soon, but it is alarming that Snell has issued 10 free passes this season in just 13 innings. He has failed thus far to follow up on a stellar second half of 2022, and the over has hit in two out of Snell's three starts this season. The Braves have been on a tier offensively over the past week, and the over has hit in six of Atlanta's last seven games. Four of their regulars are batting at least .313 right now, making it hard to pick against the over. On the mound for Atlanta, there is no guarantee that Strider will pick pitch a gem. In three career appearances against the Padres, Strider has a 4.66 earned run average, which is his fourth highest against any of the 16 teams he has faced in his career. I certainly trust him more than Snell, though. I believe that this game has the potential for a lot of runs, even in pitcher-friendly Petco Park. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.